In this video, you're going to learn the one discipline that wealthy people have figured out and you need to go and develop in order to get and stay wealthy. Hey, welcome. My name is Mr. Macek and welcome to the channel where we learn all about investing in real estate, doing some side hustles and building your net worth. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please subscribe below. I would really appreciate it. Look, when it comes to building wealth, some people just get lucky. Some people inherit it. Some people work hard and build it. But one thing is for sure, in order to keep your wealth, there is a discipline that you really need to develop. This is not something that anyone is born with, although this is something that you might have learned from your family if they're like this, or maybe you learned quite the opposite. Either way, you need to go and discipline yourself. That means fight the urges that you have and practice this one thing. So what am I talking about? And real quick, if you like these kinds of videos, please click the like button. It only takes a minute, watch. Look, that only took a second. So the discipline I am referring to is delayed gratification. Now that does not mean don't ever go get anything for yourself. That does mean you don't spend everything you make. That does mean you don't go and blow your money on the biggest fanciest car and you don't get the fanciest shoes that cost the most money. It means that you discipline yourself within the realms of spending money. Now, through the process of earning money, it is important to reward yourself. That I definitely agree with, and I do it myself. So when I make a big sale, I spend just a little bit of that money on myself to reward myself for all the hard work that I did. But one thing I don't do is if I get a $15,000 commission, I don't take $15,000 and go spend it. I might invest it, but I don't just go and spend it on myself, on a new car, on a new wardrobe, or anything else. In fact, through the process of building your net worth, you're gonna make it there faster if you actually reserve the spending of the money on yourself. If you make $500 a week, don't spend $500 a week. There's no business of going out to restaurants, there's no business of going out to bars or buying alcohol out there. All you have to do is discipline yourself on the spending money. Practicing delayed gratification will allow you to keep a little bit more of your money every single week so that you can invest it and let that money grow into more money. And then you have more money and you're adding a little more money to it and it will invest it again and make even more money. And one day your money will be working for you. You really want to ask yourself this question. Do you want to work and slave away for the rest of your life? Now, if the answer is yes, and you are spending all your money that you're earning, great job. You are on the path to reaching your goal, which is never stopping working. But if you actually want to get out of the rat race, then you are probably one of the people watching this video, because that's what my channel is all about, is getting wealthy. So take this advice, go and make some money. Do not spend it all on yourself. Do not go out to restaurants and bars unless it's a special occasion or unless you make a lot of money. But whatever amount you make, set percentages. If you only make $3,000 a month, then set a certain percentage that you're going to live off of, a certain percentage you're going to invest, a certain percentage to pay down any kind of debt you may have. This is just smart budgeting, but do not, whatever you do, take that $3,000 and say, great, for this month I have $3,000 and spend it all. That is no way to get out of it. Now, most people are in this rat race and that's okay. You have to start somewhere. I used to be in it. At this point in time, I'm gonna challenge you to get out of it. Whatever money you make, live off of 95% of it for this month. Next month, make it 90. Next month after that, make it 85. If you budget and you look at everywhere you spend your money and you track every single last dollar of your earnings, it's amazing what you can accomplish and the clarity that you will have by budgeting. Once again, it comes back to delayed gratification. So a lot of people say, hey, I went to earn my money and I did it so I can spend it. But when you're in your 70s and 80s, you're going to regret those days that you did that because you might not have enough money and you might need to work somewhere in old age. I don't recommend you go and you live your whole life blowing all your money away. Just 
practice some delayed gratification. Do reward yourself. I'm not saying never spend money on yourself. I'm just saying do it in a very organized and budgeted percentage based model. So you do have to put some work into it. You do have to budget and you have to oblige by the rules you have set for yourself. I am here to try to guide you on your path to building wealth and this is something that you might want to consider implementing to take the next step and start investing a little bit more of your money that you're making. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn about fixing your credit score, please watch this video. It's just going to give you two things that you can do right now to help boost your credit score. And with a better credit score, you can invest into real estate.